Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. Uh, we're going to look at gold and silver today, uh, trying to find the next uh, trading opportunity. And um, gold has gone up for 5-6 days and it has stayed in uh, quite a tight range. And the range I'm talking about is here over here, it made a top, came down and it and went up and then we are seeing another range area right over here as well. So we are going to look at gold and silver as far as long for long term forecast is concerned. You guys are aware of my bearish forecast of gold and silver. Uh, however, today is uh, only we are going to look at the short time. So <coughs> what I'm expecting is uh, bearish price action today and tomorrow and an important price level. That's the price level that indicate that the the pattern actually started from over here and uh, goes over here or it goes continue up over here. So when the price wrong breaks 2032 that will con confirm that the pattern that actually started from over here is complete. Either it's complete over here or it's going to go up and it's going to complete. Uh, is, is we are going to look at it. Th therefore, the break of 2032 is crucial. Once the break of 2032 occurs, uh, we are definitely, definitely making the long term, uh, the longer swing that we are looking at. This one, okay. So that this is the longer swing that we are expecting, and uh, we have been expecting it. I made a forecast that we are making a larger correction downward, um, kind of sideways uh, price behavior uh, for a couple of weeks uh, till the. Uh, beginning of January till the first week of January actually uh, so we are look we are expecting for that price action to happen uh, today I believe that we are going to see a larger price action and tomorrow as well so the reason that Thursday and uh, Friday are expected to be bearish I decided to make a forecast before therefore uh, 2032 is very very important as soon as 2032 breaks and that will an in indicate that the pattern actually either started from over here or over here will actually continue downward and we'll see uh, the lower end tested of this target as well so we are bearish on gold and silver conditionally 2032 breaks otherwise we'll wait for the price action to continue and and come down and break 2032 that will be very crucial uh, for bearish, bearish price action in gold let's have a look at silver silver has gone up a bit more and uh, this is the sideway behavior you're expecting for it however the price has has kind of con went up and kind of stayed in the star in a strong range so let's delete that and let's have a look once again so what we are reacting right now is this pattern that we are looking at it so we want to see that this pattern is complete and therefore to do that we need to see a break of this price behavior okay this one more importantly the lower target over here so there's not much difference if you can wait a bit uh, this will give you an indication this is twenty four dollar and seven cents right now we are trading at twenty four thirty four either price is going to go up a bit and then come crashing or they're just going to come um, and uh, come below twenty four seven right over here so that will make an indication that we have completed the the structure uh, and we are going to go down right over here in this area so we are looking for bearish price action on Thursday and Friday, which is uh, quite welcoming. It's going to be a larger swing. It will create a lot of uh, profits if you can trade it accurately. And uh, thank you so much. We will, uh, I'll, uh, I've already started the uh, crash of everything series. We are going to continue our analysis. And I think I'm going to look at uh, stock market. And we will try to, uh, we have seen bearish price actions yesterday in US stock market as well. Uh, Pakistan's stock market it went down quite a bit uh, so we're gonna look at whether uh, uh, how how the crash of everything is gonna uh, include stock market as well so we'll, that's that's the next thing in on my mind mm, probably I'll be up updating during the weekend wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye